isolated anymore. This cannot be contained, but we can still fight it. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station.
I think it is clear that the incidents are not isolated anymore. This cannot be contained, but we can still fight it. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. <laughs>
chosen to stay on our own. He's welcome to seek shelter. This is an automated recording set from K23, the Crown Station.
Testing, testing. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. We're starting out our investigation at the canyon. The main artifact is large, pyramid-shaped, and appears to have some sort of an entrance at the top. We'll start closer examination tomorrow after a good night's sleep. Very exciting. Testing, testing. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. We're starting out our investigation of the canyon. The main artifact is large, pyramid shaped, and appears to have some sort of an entrance at the top. We'll start closer examination tomorrow after a good night's sleep. Very exciting. stone tablets seem to tell some ancient legend, but it's as if the markings have been somehow scratched off. Our electronics equipment keeps malfunctioning near this site. Oh, and there's an eerie glow around the stone ring at night. No apparent source for the light, yet it glows. We need to come back to this later. I'm sure there's a way to restore these and read the legends. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. It all started when the great blue tear dropped from the sky. With great thunder, it hit Mother Earth and ripped her open. This is how manna came to us. The bittersweet gift from the sky. Then came the horrible pestilence. It has taken many of us, but we are fighting it. But how come the one-armed king was not affected? Did the king bring this upon us? Then came the horrible pestilence. It has taken many of us, but we are fighting it. But how come the one-armed king was not affected? Did the king bring this upon us? Notes on the pyramid. Last night I swear I heard a cry for help inside the pyramid. Very creepy. The team got so anxious that we decided to play it safe and fill the structure with cyanide gas before attempting entry. The voices seem to have stopped now, so it was probably just some wildlife. 
supplemental. We've waited for two days, but the gas is not evaporating for some reason. It's weird, but it's not the weirdest thing we've encountered on the island. We'll need to get the gas masks from our jungle camp if we're to enter. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. <laughs>
Well, the gas masks are gone. Apparently, the beachhead station took them during their last resupply mission. They also reported some strange phenomenon deeper in the jungle. Intriguing. We better head that way. We'll just take one detour to see the new artifact discovered at the Site B. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. The architecture and items found at the Site B definitely match the ones found at the canyon. One of the artifacts found is a pouch full of small, glowing beads. These are exactly like the one my mother has in her necklace. So, I guess she was right. A team of selected people will follow me deeper into the overgrown jungle. Not sure if we should be worried, but we've lost all contact with the beachhead station. Abby, signing out.